Cup FF on YouTube. Shout out to my boy, Black Dunia. <laughs> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'ahum Ya ihsan ila jom al-deen Amma ba'd Was a bit of a surprise wasn't it? They're all shocked I think it was just basically Just a little teaser So we thought why not? They, you know, it's good to tease It's good to, you know, keep you guessing Keeps the relationship Exactly You know, like they say You know, the more the more you wait the more excited you get and the more you would pay attention. If everything was given to you straight away, what would happen? You wouldn't pay attention. So I'll almost start. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say Allah Yubayi Fikun to the brothers uh, from Al Islam Productions. Well, Allah Adin, they helped us a lot. And uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit, uh, mm. to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, uh, to make me benefit from you uh, with all the sort of uh, references <coughs> and you know, the love that you've been giving. So Allah Yubayi Fikun to uh, Sheikh uh, Abdul Halim and Sheikh Uthman. Keep in touch with me, inshallah, and keep me in your du'as. So let's get to what we're here for. So what we're going to present now, uh, we're going to present from Sunni and Shia sources. So Sheikh uh, Muhid or Stad Muhid is going to read uh, and we we'll present biographies from obviously uh, Shia sources, one from a biography from Sunni from Sira Adam al Ubala, and then we'll quote uh, two uh, highly respected in their eyes uh, Ayatollahs who are basically just going to say exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a problem with what I'm saying, then you've got to really sort of throw these two under the bus as well because these are your marajah, these are your marajah. Uh, and we're not going to give them the senior scholars. Well, well, at the moment, one at the moment yeah. is still alive, but the other one collaborates everything what we're saying. So we'll start with the Nasus first, then we're going to go to the Fatawa, then after that, we'll go back to Ahl Sunnah and we'll see everything's tied up together and then we'll see what you've got to say about that. So, first and foremost, <laughs> uh, this is Kashf al Ghumma uh, from Sheikh Irbali. Now, this is a biography book and it basically means lifting Ghumma, like the oppression. Mm -hmm. And knowing the Imam, so you, you know, I've had a lot of uh, the, the Beit al Khadid team say, Oh, well, it's a mixture of Sunni and Shia works. Well, hold on, yeah. First of all, the, 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 the individual himself is a Shi'i, he's a, he's a 12 or a Rafidi, and he's put Sunni works in here, but he's talking about a biography of 12 Imams. So, even if he did put you know, isolated ahadiths or you know, athars from Ahl Sunnah, it's a Shi'i book, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you could wipe your hands of it as much as you want, it's a Shi'i book. So let's present. So this is under the chapter, uh, well, the page number, first and foremost, which will help, is page uh, 67. Uh, and it's about the chapter of Fatima, radiallahu anha. So it's a full biography, three volumes. This is volume two. And it goes like now we got Dhakr Imam Saadis, uh, uh, well, this is Dhakr uh, Imam Rabi. And so it goes through the 12 Imams. So it's a Shi'i book. Don't wipe your hands from it. It's your book. So. Let's present, Akhi, oh, Ustad, can you read under the chapter of Fatima, radiallahu anha, in relation to her birth, and when we stop there, then we'll go to certain what points, you want, you uh, from, from where the red point is first. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is, like I said, it's under the heading Fatima, alayhi salam. It says, Qala ibn al-Hashab, fi tarikh al-mawalid, wa wafati ahl al-bayti, naqalahu an shuyukhi, so, yeah, so, so basically, Kala ibn uh, Khashab, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So in his exactly. in his book, he basically mentions uh, the birth, uh, the history yeah. of the birth, yeah. the date or the history of the of the, of the of the of the birth and the death of oh, the uh, Ahl Bayt, and it's been narrated from the the his sheikh. So we stop his there. His uh, well, he mentions in Arabic shuyukhi. Shuyukhi. So his shuyukh. So you have to remember that he's doing a knuckle of his shuyuk, so it's not... He's taking it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's transmitted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Sheikh, carry on. So he says, يَرْفَعُوا uh, عَنْ أَبِي جَعْفَرْ مُحَمَدْ بْنَ عَلِي So it's been obviously narrated back to Abu Ja'far Muhammad ibn Ali. Yeah. They قَالْ وُلِدَتْ فَاطِمَةُ بَعْدَ مَا أَظْهَرَ اللَّهُ نُبُوَّةَ نَبِيِّهِ Okay, yeah. finish it up. وَأَنْزَلَ عَلَيْهِ الْوَحِي بِخَمْسِ سِنِينَ Okay, that's it. بَعْدِ أَظْهَرُ no, he basically, he was uh, Fatima Radla was born. was born after when the Nubuwa was revealed. Okay. Yeah. And how long after? What was that lady? And the way he came up to him, uh, when she was. Yeah. No, no. Be. Uh, yeah. Five. Five years. Five years. Five. Five years. So five years after the Wahi, yeah. the Fatima Radla Anha was born. So keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah. Five years after the Wahi. Now, if you go by the Gregorian calendar, 
the wahi came in 610 after hijri 610 after the hijri so she was born five years after roughly say 615 615 616 after the hijra yeah okay oh, sorry, 615 16 gogori the hijra hasn't come yet mm -hmm. because i haven't made hijra yet mm -hmm. but keep that in mind for the check 615 or 616 yeah. give and take i will explain it in other works as well the quraish to build the bait the quraish were building the house of the kaaba yeah وتوفيت و... وتوفيت so, so, so she, she passed, passed away, passed away عنها, yeah. and uh, she was 18 year of, years of age yeah. and um, 75, 75 days. days so she was so 18 almost four, four months yeah. so 18 yeah. years old and about four or five months no three months three, 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 three to four three, months. months so she yeah. passed away at 18 years old and a bit of months. So bear that in mind. Five years after the Hijrah, or five years after uh, Wahi, mm -hmm. and she passed away at 18 years old. So bear it, 610, 615. Now we'll read on and we'll make an important point now that you need so to bear in mind. That we've understood when the revelation was revealed, the time gap between the Prophet's Bi'atha, Bi'atha means when the revelation was given, and um, the, 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 the the birth of Fatima okay? Five years. So we've got the calculation there, and obviously he's going to go through the calculation properly yeah. in English. Then, if you go a, a bit more further down, yeah. same paragraph. Just down. Yeah, just a little down. It says, "Well, one letter of Hassan, and one year after the Hijra, after the Hijra, for three years." That's it. So explain that to him now. So basically, she gave birth to Hassan when she was how old? When she was eleven years old after the Hijra. Okay. So she will stop there. Yeah. She gave birth to Hassan Radhan three years after the Hijrah when she yeah. was eleven years old. Okay? Yeah. Key important fact here. Eleven years old. So the question to the Rawakid, I'm not gonna speak about the other snake. Leave him to one side. I don't wanna speak about him. I spoke about him enough to me. I said, I don't want giving you this much respect. With all due respect, your own community realize how decept deceptive and slippery you are. So there's no point. Leave you to one side. To the Rawafid, she was five years old when the Prophet had his revelation. Five years old. And she gave birth to Hassan after three years after the Hijrah, when she was 11 years old. Now we're going to tie this in now. Okay? So we're going to move on to another book. So we're going to tie it on in another book. So key points now. Five years old, or five years after the, uh, the, the Wahi. Yeah. And she gave birth to Hassan. When she was 11 years old, three oh, years after we know Hijrah. her death happened 18, 18 years old. Years of age and a little month. A little few month after, after. A few months after. So now, Kashful Ghumma's done. Now we're going to go to a Sulu. You you should, if you've got pen and paper, you should note these down. Note these down. Because then you'll see from the Fatawa of hey, the Shias. Well, how it ties in. Yeah. So now we go to a Sulu Kafi. Okay? A Sulu Kafi. We call to Kashful Ghumma. Okay? So in a Sulu Kafi, under the chapter of Fatima, the birth, but, uh, but, sorry, I'll read this, I'll read this. Yeah. So this is under um, Kitab al hujjah and it's here, right here. Bab Mawlidi, Mawlidi Zahra'i Fatima alayhi salam. So the birth now of Fatima alayhi salam. He says, Wulidat Fatima alayha wa ala bi'liha salamu ba'da mab'afi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam bi khamsi sanin. Five. Five. Again. You get that again? Yeah. Uh, it's the first page, yeah. So let's carry on. Okay. It's going to be the first page. There. Okay. So you read you read that again, and I'm going to read that. thing is, what's the year's difference between them? Nothing. There's a no, I'm going to read in terms of... Oh, uh, sorry. So, Surah Al-Kafi, this Kashul Ghumma is Tufiya, Sana, Sita, Wa Thalatha, Wa Tis'i. 693. And he passed away, uh, Al-Kafi, he died, uh, Mr. Kulaini, should I say, not Kafi. Uh, it doesn't say, but he, he died in the 3rd to 4th century. I know okay, this. So this one was earlier. Earlier. So you can see he hasn't met him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hasn't met him. Uh, has he met him? No, of course not. Okay, so he hasn't met him. Oh yeah, there's some donkey narrations. Oh yeah, I'm going to get to that later. No, 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 no but, that, but the thing is, watch how the narration is so... Uh, accurate. Uh, accurate with, between the two. Okay? Yeah. So you read that first now. No, let me read mine, then you read yours, because yeah. yours come after. Okay? So this is Bab. Mawlid al Zahra'i Fatima Ta'ali. This is by the way, mashallah, Brother Hajj's homework that he's done. No, 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 no. And I'm so proud of him. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning for you as well. That's honesty. I'm a very clever way, yeah. He says, Wulid al Fatima Ta'ali, 
وعلى بيعها سلام بعد ما بعث ما بعث رسول الله بخمس سنين. so that we got there. so شيخ what does بعلها mean? so just uh, progeny. شيخ uh, is it progeny? بعل بعلها. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, the people her household her household household from the people. Exactly. yes. so five from years. شيخ يورينا. so he says the same thing here. So it says, yeah. So for that Fatima to bad, ma adhar Allahu nubuwa tanabihi wa anzal alaihi alwahi bi khamsin sini. Okay. So five years, five years after wahi. Okay. Now he he mentions wa tufiyat walaha thamana ashrata sanatan wa khams wa khamsatun wa sabuun yoman. So she passed away at eighteen years old and seventy five days. What does he say there? It says the same thing. It says, وَتُوَفِّيَتْ وَلَهَا ثَمَانْتَ عَشْرَ السَّنَةَ وَخَمْسَ وَسَبِعِينَ يَوْمًا There you go. Just to let you know, before Hijri, people used to remember dates with events. That's why the, whoever the Sheikh is, from the Shias, yeah, he says, وَقُرَيْشُ تُبْنَ الْبَيْتِ Things of moment like, عَامُ الْفِيمِ عَامُ الْحُزُنِ So this is referencing back at the time when the bait was being so you could also go and check that out yeah, as well. Go check yeah. check Inshallah. So now we've confirmed, and now now we need to read this one again. Oh no, I'll read this. I'll read yeah. this. So so Fatima was 18 years old, below and how when she passed away, and this is five, both saying both say the same five years after Wahi. Okay, so five years after Wahi. And yeah, so we will now go into the marriage later on. But what we're going to do now, we've tied in the years of her birth and the year of her death. And Hassan was born three years after the Hijri. Bear that in mind. Yeah. Bear that in mind. Okay, we're going to come back to that. So bear that in mind. So while she was 11. While she was 11 years old. She remember, gave birth. She gave birth. So she would have been 10. No, or no, dead no, about no, no, no. when she got married. Mm -hmm. Now we'll prove this from Fatawa. We'll prove this from Fatawa from their Ayatollahs. We'll go back now, we'll, we'll come back to the birth of Hassan from yeah. Al-Kafi as well. To tie in with what? Mr. Irbali is saying. Okay? Later on. Sixth, sixth century. Sixth century, this is third to fourth. Okay, so put this away. Put this away, Sheikh. Yeah. Now, we're going to read, and we're going to put this in the link. Okay, so Sheikh, when we finish. La, 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 okay. ba so, now, this is... Ayatollah Khoti. I'm sure you can see his face right there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. To get an entry to this. No, 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 no. This is Ayatollah Khoti right there, and this is Sheikh. Read his the website. It's an official website. It says Muasasa to the Imam Al Khoti Al Khairiya. Okay. Yeah, so it's from the official website, charitable website. Yeah. Muasasa Imam Al Khoti. And what's the chapter? The chapter is Asayid to Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Okay. So it's all about Fatima. It's a scene about Fatima. So we already quoted she was. So remember, Khoya is a, a, a figure. Oh, very, very uh, a figure. respected figure a, amongst the Shia. Regardless of them saying about the in the West, I'm saying in the, in the traditional Shia school, and uh, if you go back into seeing all the videos mm -hmm. and lectures of some of the Shia uh, teachers of theirs, they reference back to Khoya or Sistani or, yes, or them. Yeah, yeah, the chain so they, Yeah, so they still have. So let's yeah. go to now the wedding, the husband now, the actual wedding. We've confirmed the birth, we've confirmed the death, and we confirmed how old she was when she had her first son. She was 11 years old when she had her first son, which was three years after Hijri. Remember that. Okay, keep that in mind. So now this is the chapter. Which one, what did he talk about in this chapter? I think this is about uh, the, the, under the gifts of uh, Az-Zahra Islam at the time of her wedding. Her wedding. Okay, so this is now so the Hamid marriage. She was thing. given as a gift. Yeah. So read in Arabic, so at least then they can they can see uh, what they. Jihad uh, Zahra alayhi salam عند زفاف. Show show it to the camera. Show it to the camera first. Okay. Page. Wait. Did not did not have. No, 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 we can send the link. Here you go. Okay. Ayatul Khoi. Few page down. Yeah, Muassasa Khoi, and this is Markaz Imam Al Khoi, and this is Muassasa. Okay, Imam Al Khoi. Okay. And it's about few. Uh, yeah, this is all of it. Few pages down, coming down to her. Uh, at the time of her wedding. Okay, so go to the next page. Now, this is the key. This is the wedding date now. Because they had a problem. Yeah. They didn't speak up when the Prophet mm -hmm. said, Oh, Aisha had six and nine mm -hmm. and this and that. Mm -hmm. You know, how can you know this happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, not even that's happened. Let's rephrase yeah. that. They didn't even mention a word. Uh, what uh, defensive, what, uh, what, yeah. what, 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 what
تعال البيت الكسرى المجوسي من ذا فورس ثلاثه على البيت حبيبي ذا نيفر ايفن ديفندد ذا بروفيت نو نو كود ديد نوت ان ديس ويتش اوف كويس شوكينج ان ذا صلى الله عليه وسلم بريء منهم ذا بعد صلى الله فري فروم ذيس فروم ذيس بيبل and i tell you this i'll say this we're going to go on we're going to go on chef read now this is the chapter of the wedding mm-hmm. so we proved oh, that she was given yeah. what she gave. but now we're going to go says, يكون عمر يكون عمرها حين تزويجها 9 سنين stop there stop there wait wait wait, wait, wait. Oh, كريم. أو, أو, سنين. او 10 سنين كريم او او 11 سنه so translate that for so, on the day of a wedding now uh, so therefore her age at the time of her marriage would have been either 9 years of age or 10 years of age or 11 years of age you have infallible yeah. imam and what else does he say what else does he read on لانها تزوجت بعلي عليه السلام عليه السلام بعد الهجره بالسنه وبالسنه وقل بالسنتين وقل بثلاث سنوات ثلاث سنوات so she got married to ali رضي الله عنه two one two or three years after hijra correct yeah. okay so which is what close enough mm-hmm. to what we said okay so now i'm yeah. going to go now to uh and then he says that her uh yeah her age was either 9 10 or 11 but what did uh, irbali say how old was she when she gave birth to hasan 11 years old 11 is over three years after hijri yeah so don't so you it's, it's tied connecting mm-hmm. one year you know, having a, a year here and the differences that really doesn't matter, doesn't matter. because it's still t- ties in between minimum of age of 9 10 11, 11. which was a norm we know uh, and and uh, now, now now the question here is to bait al qadir you know we'll say this to you with with, with etiquette now we'll say this with etiquette ayatul khuri is your grand maraja we're not quoting anyone uh, uh, you know just contemporary are we mm. ayatul khuri is very 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 well respected i don't know. Mm. uh sheikh nasir mm. ayatul khuri you heard of him haven't you no no well, Yes, yes. Oh, yes, you, yes. you've heard of him. Yes. Very well respected from most Shia circles. Most definitely. What's the book that you said he has? Al-Majmu' al-Rijal Sayyid Khoi. So he's someone that has... Muhaddith. Yeah, kind of Muhaddith title, if you can well, see. Well, uh, Al-Himar Yorbi min Abihi min Jabi. Don't worry, we'll get to that as well. That's going to come as well, don't worry about it. We will show you how, when you say, is it weak or is it... Don't worry, you're doing Yorbi from Riwayat from Haywanat. Don't worry, we're going to get to that. Don't worry, we're going to get to that. We're not going to leave him alone with a bit of comedy. Let's be sure. Okay, subhanAllah. So now we've quoted, and then we're going to tie everything in with calendar. So we've, what we've done so far, I'm sure is sufficient. Sheikh Nasr, Hayakallah. As far as what we've presented so far, there is no doubt from Kulaini from the 3rd to the 4th to Irbali, quoting... accurate near enough accurate it is accurate from from uh, kafi to uh, kashwar gumma no. then we've quoted mr hoi saying uh, who's learned guy of the guy. modern time yeah, no. yeah say. and he was ashamed so. he said it as it is you know what no. i mean so why did why didn't you defend the prophet alayhi salam when your so, when that no. wretched individual was saying what you were saying no. well you know is there no no ghira for the prophet alayhi salam do you love him no. ahl al bayt kulla mathal kalam fadi all so. is for them is just word mean nothing no. And a day, you know, there'll be a few sort of wound marks in about a few days, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're, that's how you love the betrayers. Okay, now we're going to go to Al-Mawqi'ah, or, yeah. or Ma'qi'ah, the website of Ayatollah Al-Sistani, your main muraja now. No. So we're going to tie Mr. Khoi, who passed away, because he was the top dog before so. he passed away. Hmm. Meaning Al-Qalb al you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> And... You know what I mean? It's like he's obviously now passed away. It's, thank you for writing this, by the way. Do you know what I mean? Imagine if he didn't write it and say, well, who else has said it? Mm-hmm. We've given you your historical scholars from biographies, from Asul al-Kafi saying the same thing. And now we're going to go to this. I'm going to tie everything together with that. So there's a website called, and it's called... W- if there was something wrong, there should have been some correction. Mm-hmm. After all these ulama of the Shias mm-hmm. are there, someone should have turned around. And the way the Sunni books, you'll see a lot of correction and debates that has uh, has been taking place. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I've come across anyone actually attacking It's not this. disputed. I, I don't it's think it's disputed. disputed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly. And there's no shame. If there is, Jazakumullah khair. Yeah, support us. Bring it. Okay, okay. so now there's a website called www.aqaed.com. This is the official website of Ayatollah Al-Sistani. Mm-hmm. And it's got two offices. This office is in Iran, Qum, so one of their main centers, and there's the telephone number. If you want to call them, it's here. Just to make sure, Brother Haji is telling you, there's the number, go call them, go call them in Qum. Say, Khushan, dear Khudafiz, and speak Farsi with them. Then you got Al-Iraq, 
and Najaf Al Ashraf, and there's a telephone number there, and it's here. So if you want to verify that this website is not Ayatul Sistanis, then be my guest. But here it is. This is under the Ta'rif Al Bimarkat Al Abhaf Al Aqaidiyah. So this is his website. So this is about the, the, the research, research, research institute. Yeah. So now we've got the main sort of website, the main page. Sheikh, read that. Just to clarify, it's definitely his website. Al Ara Al Warada Fi Mawqi' Markaz Al Ibahath Al Aqaidiyah La Tmathal Bi Dururati Ra'i Samahat Al Sayyid Sistani. Okay. Yeah. So, translate so opinions that have been presented here from his uh, this website, this research website of Al Aqaidiya, does not res resembles or does not necessarily re yeah, necessarily represents the opinion of the Sayyid Sistani um, okay. views. Okay. So it's an honesty from you to show that yes, look, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm being honest, but it's his website. Yeah. You understand? It's, so, yeah. It's, it's like every other. You see every other fatawa website. They say that we uh, these views not hundred percent mm, from, yeah. from the sheikh, yeah. but you know this is their website. It's like a disclaimer. Disclaimer, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to prove that it's his website. Mm. You get it? And I'm put that on there so to show my honesty. Unlike you, I'm showing my honesty here. I'm telling you, this is a it goes researcher. I'm not hiding anything. It's not point scoring. I've got no ego to point score. I'm just mad. And this is more directed to Ahlul Sunnah wal Jamaa mm. to say, look. Don't be ashamed. Don't be put under pressure by these so-called uh, kadabs. Don't be put under pressure. We've got historical, we've got reasons as to why certain things happen. And we're not, ex we're not sort of saying this should be applied in this era. Mm. We're just saying, look, it happened. It was acceptable. Mm. And we'll go through it as well. Mm. We're going to use academic mm. research to prove this. Chef, read the fatwa. So we've confirmed it's his website. And this is the fat fatwa page, the fatwa mm. page. So Chef, read the question. So he says... A, a, a read, read, read that first, the, the, the headings. Read that first. So under, you know. under the heading or the tab, Al Asila Wal Ajuba, Fatima to Zahra, Umruha, Yom Zawajiha, wa Yom Wafatiha, alayhi salam. Okay, so, so it down. says basically questions and answers under the heading of Fatima to Zahra, referring back to the headings of her age, the day of her marriage, and the day of her death. Okay. So, so now what's the so su'ad? What's the su'ad? The su'ad is Assalamu Alaikum. كم كان عمر فاطمة الزهراء عليه السلام حينما تزوجت وكان عمرها حينما توفيت. So what was the age or how much was the age of Fatima the Zahra at the moment or when she was married and what was the age of of her when she passed away? Okay. جواب. So the جواب is الأخ المنتظر المحترم. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. أرجح the most conclusive يعني probability is أن أن ولادتها عليه السلام كانت في سنة خمسة بعد البعثة. So her her birth was at the time of the fifth year after the revelation. So stop there. Yeah. Fifth year. Have you heard that before, Sheikh? No. We've heard that in it. We've heard it so far from those two. Okay. So let me go back now. So this is Ayatullah Sistani's website. Fatima Zahra. ولدت فاطمة بعد ما أظهر الله نبوة النبي وأنزل عليه الوحي وأنزل الله الوحي بخمسة سنين خمسة سنين. بقول تو أصول كافي أصول شيخ أصول this is أصول ناو. يا الله في مثلا نناقش فروع. Foundations. So don't use all you know it could be a biography. Oh you probably are crying now it's my heart isn't it so you are probably crying. All right now look again. ولد فاطمة عليها وعلى بعلها بعلها الصلام بعد مبعثه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بخمسة سنين خمسة سنين again and then he didn't say that he didn't say it so he says خمسة سنين بعد بيت فيكون عمرها so now the sheikh is giving a an answer with regards to the age so he mentioned when the ولادة happened as you know with events that's how because it was before hijra obviously so we only record events. So when the wilada happened, when the birth happened, and then what was her age? So he says, فَيَكُونُ عُمْرُهَا عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ يَوْمَ زَوَاجِهَا The day of her marriage was عَشْرَ سِنِينَ Ten years of age. وَعُمْرُهَا And her age, عِنْدَ وَفَاتِهَا At the time of her death, was ثمانية عشر سنة. Thank you. Roughly rounded off. Roughly rounded off. Eighteen years of age. Okay, so let's go to Wafat now again. Wafat, yeah? Yeah. What did he say? He says, وَعِنْدَ وَفَاتِهَا ثمانية عشر سنة. ثمانية عشر سنة. So that is what? Eighteen years old. Eighteen years old age. We go back to كشف الغمة. Says here وتوفيت ولا ثمانية عشر سنة. 
Same thing. Just added extra. Um, a few few days. Like six, yeah. six, 75 days. 75 was it? days. Okay. Back to Usulu Kafi. But the year is the 18. What two feet? Walla has a matter. Asher at a sanatan. Or then he said, Well, Hamza Tun was a brown a yeoman. Okay. Yeah. So we've confirmed now from two books collaborating same every thing single and same with the same things that, uh, that they have brought. Then let's now put it into context now. Let's put it into context. This is a tahdeeb version of Sira al Okay? This is a tahdeeb version of Sira yeah. al Now we're going to show Sunni sources now. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go from the Hijrah, from the Gregorian calendar, and tie it in with the Hijrah to show you that she was either 10 or 11 years old at the time of her marriage. So if we've now not quoted anything from ourselves just yet, have we? Pro probably from the Rawafid as of at the moment. So Sheikh, this is Sir Alam al If you read the chapter under Fatima, from Imam al-Dahabi. So Imam al-Dahabi obviously... So he says, Fatima uh, bint Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mawriduha qabla al-mab'ath biqalili So before uh, the bi'atha by a little amount, by a little time Wa tazawajaha al-imam Ali ibn Abi Talib fi dhil qa'dah Aw qubaylihi Min sanat ithnatayn ba'da waqa'at al-badar Okay, ba'da sanatayn? From the sanat, two years after, after the event of badar Okay, so two years after hijrah She, no, no Two years what? Yeah, so she married yeah, yeah. Ali two years after Hijrah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two years after Hijrah. So now we're going to go into what we read from Kashwal Humma that Hassan was born when? When was Hassan radiallahu anhu born? He says, Wulidat Hassana walaha ahada, well, sorry, Wulidat Hassana and she was 11 years old. Ba'da Hijrah bi thalatha sini. It was three years after the Hijrah. Brother happened, she got married. Two years after the Hijrah, she gave birth. On the third year after the, after the Hijrah, how long did it take for a child to be born or the whole process? About a year. So it fits in, doesn't it? Two years after Hijrah she got married, Hassan was born. Three years after the Hijrah and she was 11 years old. So how old was she when she got married? Like the Fatah was said from that, nine, ten. It could ten, either be nine, ten, ten or eleven. But no more than eleven years old. Because if Hassan was born on eleventh, yeah? Well, even if you were to argue and say twelfth, mm -hmm. whatever the case, we know for a fact that she had to marry early age in order to give birth on the 11th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a year going bang or something like that. 11, uh, when she's age of 11. And then also remember, before her death, she also had four, four three mm -hmm. of the children after. Three of the children. Mm -hmm. So it works out. Mm -hmm. you can make three, yeah. 18 years school. old. No one's giving 28 mm -hmm. or 20s. Mm -hmm. They're all within those that scope of, uh, how can I say, uh, you know, uh, Three to nine, nine, three to nine, nine. yeah. Okay. Okay. We've got to make it clear to, to the viewers, yeah. which is very important, that we have got no issue with the, the people marrying early. And, we're, uh, and, we, and we're I've been hearing things course. from various... Mm. It's been a culture, we mm. know that. Even Let's be honest, in terms of following the religion as well, mm. in its proper concept, mm. in a lot of... I'm talking about... Sorry, your background is also mm. from Pakistan. Mm. Pakistan. Pakistan. So we're talking about our... Yeah? Mm. Uh, what was he? He was yeah. young age. Yeah. No one like ever my thought at that time. Yeah, yeah. Married when they were yeah. And maybe Sheikh, uh, your background, they, they, yeah. it was the social norm at the norm. time. Yeah. So you can't. I mean, we probably might say yes, it's not social norm now. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that we should put a, a, a derogative term or a yeah. negative term on someone that did that. Because if that was the case, then even in the UK, yeah. all those leading people or whatever it was, the kings and all them. All of them, you have to actually label them the same way. And well, I, I want to add as well, Sheikh, mm -hmm. where was Bayt al Ghadir when this was happening? Mm -hmm. Where were you? Mm -hmm. We had to defend Ali radiallahu anhu. We will prove this from, from, from non Muslim academics who are munsif, who are fair. What they said about the marriage, you can't even defend Aisha radiallahu anha. Mm -hmm. And you're spoke, well, supposed to is a, is a key word, but you're, you're supposed to love the Prophet, alayhi salatu salam, supposed to anid Ahl al Bayt, but you would know it to be fine with the Diyagat Shuma. Indirectly or directly, regardless, it's still insulting. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to Hassan radiallahu anhu. So we're going to tie everything in bi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bab al uh, uh, Sheikh, you read this now, because I'm going to tie in the, uh, the, the, the birth dates uh, and everything else as well. Bab al Mawlid Hassan ibn Ali, salawatullahi alayhi wa Wulida Hassan ibn Ali, alayhi salam, fi shahri Ramadan, fi sanat al-Badr. Okay, sanat al-Badr. Yeah, then it says, 
Sanat al-Thnatayn Ba'd al-Hijrah So now he sent Mr. So Kulani the same thing Mr. Kulani sent two years after the Hijrah mm. Whereas this man, Mr. K- Mr. Irbali He sent Wulidat Hassan Walaha Ihda Ashara Sana. So she, she gave birth to Hassan when she was 11 But this was Ba'd al-Hijrah Thalatha Sanin So he so A year Here and there so, No way He said Ba'd Thalatha uh, Ba'd Thalatha Sanin And he says It's not saying Two years Yeah So he so said She gave birth In one, the marriage In yeah. that marriage When she got married in yeah. brother that year she, He was born And he's saying No it was the year after mm-hmm. So what we're going to do now Is go to Al Hassan, so that's Hassan done, yeah? Yeah. So now we're gonna tie everything in together, okay? We're gonna tie everything together. So let's do this properly, okay? So five years after the revelation. <coughs> so if you go by the Gregorian calendar, again, if, you, if I am wrong, mm. correct me. Mm. I'm, I'm saying I'm open to correction. So the Prophet got the Wahi from from Ali said, "Salam, Iqra bi ismi Rabbika al-Ladhi khalaq," and that and and uh, to the end, six ten Gregorian, six ten Gregorian. The, Reb, the Fatima Radha Anha was born five years after the Mabath. So that's five years. So that would be 615 after the Hijrah. Mm-hmm. Hijrah, so the Prophet Hazan stayed in Mecca 13 years. 12 to 13 years. Sheikh, are you? No, 13, no, 13 years. No. So that would make it from 610, they made Hijrah either 622 or 623. Mm-hmm. Give and take a year. Mm-hmm. Hijrah happened then. Waka al Badr, who was born, when did they marry? Badr. Mm-hmm. So that would have been two years after the Hijrah. Did you say two years after yeah, the Hijrah? Two years. Where was that? That was in... Um, Baltimore. Baltimore, was it? Yeah. Baltimore. The 160. Uh, what, yeah, yeah, right then. So just make sure, because we're going into the... No, no, no. no, no, no. It, was, uh, it was under Dahabis. It was in the Dahabis. And this one? No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. That's fine. So let's get yeah. to this now. So 615. Hijrah uh, 610 was the revelation, 615, Fatima Rana was born, 622, 623, they left. So that's 13 years. Fatima would have been how old? No more from 615 to 622 or 623, she would have been either 7 or 8 years old. Mm. She, gave, she was born, or she married on the year of Badr, which was 2 years after. So if she was 615, 622 or 623 is Hijrah, she would have been 7 or 8 years old. 2 years after Badr, she was either 9 or 10 years old. Mm. A, probably a year difference. A year difference. Co- correlating correlating that. So she was no more than nine or ten. But this collaborates with Irbani and Kashfur Huma because he mentioned that Hassan Radhan was born three years after the Hijrah. Mm-hmm. So that ties into ten or eleven. Now look at this. When she passed away, obviously she would have been married uh, at ten or eleven. She passed away, as we know, Radhan six months after, because he said they didn't, it, six months after. So if we tie it from 615. To 632, my maths isn't that great, so let's collaborate. 615 to 632. Prophet Hassan passed away 632, which was 10 years uh, or 11 years after the Hijrah. Am I, am I sort of off slightly? No, 10 years after the Hijrah. 10 years after the Hijrah. So if she was 9 or 10 after the Hijrah, so give and take, she was 18 or 19 years old when she, when she passed away. That ties in with everything we're saying in relation to what their books have said, All the Shia their Patawa have said, and even Imam Dahabi also confirms it because she married him and Badr happened two years after the Hijrah, mm-hmm. which would collaborate exactly 7, 6.15, they made Hijrah 6.22, two years after Hijrah, 6.22, and Prophet passed away 6.32, 10 years after. So Fatima would not be no more than 18 to 19 years old. So how is it? When she's given birth to four kids, mm-hmm. she was five years old after Mabhaf. Hijrah was 622, that's seven, eight years old, two years after that, ten or nine years old. Mm. Are you ashamed of this? I'm not ashamed. Now, what we're going to do, Sheikh, um, is it conclusive enough for you, Habib? Yeah, the only thing is, if, if, like I said, you should have a pen and paper. You should write this down. To write all these numbers down. So. Then you could yourself see, it, see how it. it all connects. And from the Fatawa, they got nine years, Which ten years old. Which agrees with the Fatawa so, and their book. So remember now, let's, I did my calculations. Per the Gregorian calendar and the Hijri calendar, I've combined them both. Mm. So she was no more than nine to ten, and they said, Give Yakuna a nine, ten, or to eleven. Speech, huh? This asinin, or ashr asinin, or ihda ashr asinin. He didn't go above that. Lianna, lianna ha tazawwajat bi Ali alayhi salam ba'da hija bi sana o kila bi sana ten o kila thalat asinin. Exactly what we're saying. Mm. A year or two or three. Mm. Exactly what we're saying. Mm. This is Ayatul Khoi is saying this. And what does Sistani say? You read the Sistani. Same, same thing. He says, al arjah, the most Sheikh uh, arjah. Uh, 
concise. Uh, the most concise. Yeah. Yes, it is is Anna Wila An Anna Wila Dataha Alayhi Salam Kanat Fi Sanat Khamsa Bad al Bafa. Fayakunu Umru Alayhi Salam Yam Zawajiha Ashra Sinin or Umruha in the Wafatiya Thamanta Ash Sana. That's the strongest view. Yeah. Mm. That's the strongest view of so basically that the just to cut it short that her age at the time of marriage would be at the time of marriage ten years of age. Mm. So she was ten years of age. Whatever the case is still going in between nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Well yeah, nine, ten. Okay, so all I wanna say at this moment in time, I think per you know, rough added, you get it. But we're not off by a long distance. We're not mm. off because we're quoting our sources, their sources and their fatawa. Mm. So we all can't be wrong, can we? Mm. I'm just saying that you know, if you want to go by the by the probability aspect, you will see in here, Sheikh Allah Yimarik Fi. I'm talking about as what he explained. I like said, does it make sense? And does it make sense to you? Mm -hmm. She can't have been no more than 11 years old, because she only died at eight. She passed away at 18 years old. At best four months was it, or three four months? So let's round it up. 19 years old. Mm. Round it up, just for the sake of argument. If you feel like you know, I'm being petty. But it won't be that much of a difference. But everything will still fall mm. in her early teens. Early teens? Not before, early teens. Before, early teens. Was before her teens. She yeah. was 9, 10 or 11. So I'll end at that. I'm sure, you know, Wallahu uh, A'lam Awalan, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But all we're saying is, did I have to bring this out for you to defend the Prophet alayhi mm -hmm. Did I have to come and bring all these evidences? You guys should have known this. I had someone on Facebook saying, oh, uh, she probably got married at 18. Are you, are, you, are you smoking the good stuff or something? She died at 18 years old. How the hell could she have got married at 18 years old? So are you ashamed? It had to take Hajji to make some sort of comments regarding Ali marrying so Fatima. Can I ask, where did they get this 18? I don't know, some uh, Shia Rafidi was harassing me on my page and saying she was 18 and putting all sorts of fatawa. And you're talking about fatawa, don't worry about it. Don't, uh, Sheikh Muhammad, you know, don't worry about it. The fatawa that you have given, don't worry about it. I'll be bringing that as well. Don't worry about it. I, I, ain't, I ain't hiding just yet. The Sheikh is uh, quite upset with me going. I'll be studying. I'll be back to studies again. Uh, you know, uh, the tahqiq and the bath aspect he's not very happy with. But being the last one, I will end it for now. I'm sure any comments, if, any, if anything doesn't add up, if there's any, you know, masdar elsewhere that sort of differs what, with what we're saying, bring it. And we'll say, you know what, there's a difference of opinion. But at the same time, Sheikh, I think it's a bit strong. I think, you know, what we've brought here today, and the links will be put in from Khoi and from Sistani. They'll be put there, more than happy to go and go and research it yourself. So we'll leave it as it is. Uh, we'll come back. We're going to have a quick break. Inshallah, yeah. Okay? So make dua for us. Uh, as I said before, follow Commentary FF. Follow my brother back, Dunya. I spoke to him today. Allah, you better speak. Allah, protect you. Just, you know, just, uh, we met briefly, so we'll speak soon. Obviously, Dawa is another good Basaid. Yeah, no, I say I just met him only yeah. for the first time. Allah, you better nice So, inshallah, we'll keep, we'll, we'll, we'll keep in touch. It's a, it's a Ahl Sunnah collaboration. Inshallah. It's a Ahl Sunnah collaboration. And we call for faith, you know. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve all of us and, mm. you know, give us the strength to preserve, rectify our intentions. Mm. My brothers from Al Islam Productions, Allah, you better speak. And uh, we'll come back to you shortly. What's the Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad, wa Ali, wa Sahbihi, wa Ramallah. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah.